from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories. There's clearance now for all persons to get the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine when it gets into the country. The World Health Organization had some questions about giving it to persons over 65, but those questions have been answered, and the WHO has now cleared the vaccine for use in that age group. The Office of the Prime Minister responding, announcing yesterday that the vaccine will be given to all persons over the age of 18 when it gets here. Still no clear indication of when that will be. Health officials announcing two more deaths from the coronavirus. Two men from the capital, 146, the other 62. That brings the death toll from the virus to 178 now. Officials also announcing that there were 11 confirmed cases on Tuesday, all in the capital. 15 persons are now in hospital, and two of them are in the ICU. Education Minister Lloyd says they're looking at February 22nd to start in-person learning in some public schools in some islands still using the virtual system. The Parliamentary Registration Department announcing that voter registration centers around the country will open next week. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The House met yesterday, the first meeting since Speaker Moultrie announced his resignation from the FNM. He made a ruling, a significant one, overturning a ruling made by former Speaker Major that restricted the powers of the Public Accounts Committee, giving it more latitude to operate. Prime Minister Minutes tabled a compendium of finance-related bills during the session, and government members voted against taking questions from the opposition. So what's next for oil drilling in the country after the recent announcement that the operation west of Andros didn't find any commercial quantities of oil? Environment Minister Ferreira in the House. As a people now, we must decide the direction we go in. The one critical thing that we have to face coming out of this is whether or not Bahamians want to know the answer to that question, which is, do we possess oil in commercial quantities? And if, if the answer to that is yes, how much of and what it's worth? Taxi drivers not happy. A group of them protested in Rosen Square yesterday over what they're calling poor treatment and a blatant disregard to the concerns they have about the industry. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies again today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 79 at Freeport. 80 in the capital. 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now. The next low around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous 2021. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines the U.S. Senate moving into the third day of the Donald Trump impeachment trial as the world watches. There's still no indication that enough Republican senators will vote to convict the former president. Current President Biden continues to move on with his agenda. He's had talks with China's president now, bringing up human rights and what he called unfair economic practices. And he has announced that the military leaders of Myanmar will be sanctioned by the U.S. over that recent coup there. Demonstrations against the military takeover continues in that country. Tribune's gas tracker prices shell 437, rubles 401, SO $4.15 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good night for DeAndre Ayton in the NBA last night. 17 points, 7 rebounds against the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Suns won. 
Get the rest of the NBA board in the Tribune Sports Thursday and read about the Super Bowl parade in Tampa yesterday. The latest on the Australian Open tennis tournament is in the Tribune Sports and find out how Venus Williams lost. And read about the plans for Freedom Farm Baseball to return. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.